What up, YouTube? This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck that just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for you. And in this episode, yesterday I got so frustrated, y'all, at this whole fan situation. It just wasn't coming together like I thought it would, but today we got a new frame of mind. We got new parts, a new way of uh, mounting it all together. And I think we might have found a way to get it to work and uh, and actually, you know, sort of press itself up against the um, the radiator. So I think we're good. Also, I'm running an inline fuse. It's an 18 amp fan and we got a 20 amp little uh, mini fuse and we got a little inline thing that holds it all together and all that. And so that's what we're going to use and I'm just going to plug into one of the ports in the um, in the fuse boxes. I hate electrical things, bro. I absolutely hate electrical things. That's the thing about me. That's why I haven't gone electric fan this whole time. Because I didn't feel like doing any of the headaches that involve it. But literally what I'm gonna do is probably wire it straight up to the ignition. I know some people are probably gonna say that I shouldn't have it wired up to the ignition switch because it's gonna draw while I'm trying to start the car, but I have a thousand cold cranking that battery, so I wouldn't, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, honestly. But yeah, I wanted something that was kind of like foolproof because I know that I could possibly forget to turn it on if it's on like a, you know, a manual switch. And then if I have another system that turns it on by itself, then that's complicated and that's even more wiring. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be kind of ghetto. This isn't gonna be like a how-to video. This isn't like a video that's gonna like this. I'm not trying to show you how to live your life. I'm just showing you like this is what I'm doing. So let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. I'll be the test dummy for y'all. And yeah, that's what most of these videos are for. I just don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about this whole situation. So now I'm waiting on Kevin Dean. We are going to come out here and I'll show you guys what I have so far. Let's take a look at our new fan. Looking up in here, it's literally held up by some string right now because we were trying to test how we were going to do this whole thing. So, uh, yeah, this is, it looks kind of buggy, but bear with me here. Uh, I got an idea, I got a plan for this. So, I think what I'm going to do is actually put the wires out over here, out up under here, and point them that way. Find the ground somewhere out here on this body, on this part of the body. Yeah, but uh, we got just enough space to uh, run this fan. I have a spacer that's actually smaller than this one. I have a one inch spacer that I can put on here. I don't have the bolts to match it though. So that's the only thing. So I'm trying to use this one just so that I don't, I'm, I guess I'm just being lazy. But anyway, this is what we have so far. So let me give y'all another another perspective, another view. Yep, and that's how much clearance we got. Which should be plenty. Should be plenty. As long as that daggone fan don't move anywhere, then we'll be good to go. So I'm really confident in the top and, and how the how it's mounted. And how we're literally just gonna take two bolts and put them straight through there and it's gonna hold it up like so, just like that. As for the bottom, that's the only part that I'm really worried about that we're still trying to get together. So and this video might be kind of hard for me to film, to be honest, but we're just going to send it and we're just going to try to see what we can do. See what we can show y'all because it's not going to be easy to film what we're doing underneath the car. But as always, like I said, I'll try my best. Got my dad shades on, y'all. Mm -hmm. By the way, y'all, uh, Kevin Dean and I are going to be at Caffeine and Octane on, I think it's July the 7th. Uh, but it's basically the Caffeine and Octane of July. So if you want to find out details, then go to the Caffeine and Octane Instagram and they'll tell you about, you know, the dates and everything. But it's usually the first Sunday of every month. So we should be there that day. So Kevin Dean is uh, doing his thing right now. But yeah, we, we should be there that day. Clear your calendar, because I'll be there. Stop everything you're doing. The drill bit is long enough to do it all. You know, and I think there's like a little paper on there. That's okay. We're just going to go through the paper. Yeah, forget the paper. paper yeah. We got a fire extinguisher. If it catch on fire, if it go up, then you know the fire extinguisher, you know where it's at. We're going to spit on it because that's just a little bit of paper. <laughs> that's just a little bit of paper. All right, yeah, I think we... Who's drilling? You drilling or I'm drilling? I want to drill. You want to drill. Part. That's what I thought. Here we 
Yeah. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, and we're through. <laughs> I do this every day, I'm telling you. Every day. It's like we planned it. Look at that. <laughs> you know, this is a video I wanted to film. Because yesterday, I wasn't feeling it. I was so angry, trying to figure out Work the whole the magic, situation. Yeah. And well, we spent a day in preparation, and now yeah. we're spending a, a day in productivity. Yeah. All right, Kevin Dean, what are we here to get? A bracket. This is do or die, ladies and gentlemen. We have to get this fan back today. Yeah, because I got to drive it to Dad going to work on Friday, so. Right. And we need a little time to test it out in between. Yeah. We need to go stand in some traffic and get hot. Yeah. We'll take it to uh, do the drive through The drive through test. Or the Chick-fil-A test. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But y'all, I'm getting frustrated. I'm trying not to. It's kind of why yesterday's video was uh, garbage, because I was so Dad going frustrated. We had a nice momentum this morning as we secured yeah. the top. Yeah. So. Gotta do the same for the bottom. Yeah. Well, y'all, it's ghetto, but it's gonna work for us. It ain't going anywhere right now. You're saying it's ghetto. It is pretty ghetto, but ghetto. that's what we always do, though. Hurt my feelings, though, man. How about ghetto supreme? Ghetto supreme? <laughs> that does sound pretty good, though. It got a nicer ring to it. Yeah, it got a better ring to it. <laughs> Nothing is matching. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is matching about it. I got the little, the little inline fuse, the green wire, to that gone blue wire right here. It's pretty though. So, it's colorful. It's what? Colorful. You gotta be from the south to say that too. Yeah, you do. All right. Uh, yeah, like strawberry. Hmm? Like strawberry. Strawberry. Uh huh. Or library. Library. Street. Street. Uh. I think I said this before on another vlog, I don't know, but saying I right now, that's like the most countryest. <laughs> that's the countryest phrase and it can go on anything. You, can, you put, can put it anywhere. And you can put it anywhere. It like, could be it could be a greeting. Yeah. Alright now. <laughs> Alright now. It could be when you say goodbye. <laughs> or you could be saying, better watch yourself. Okay, right yeah, now. yeah. All right now. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the south. If you're from Cali, you might not get it. Nope. You won't. And cat, they, they need captions over what we say in Cali. Not even Southern Cali. <laughs> Y'all know I don't like electrical things at all. I'm surprised I'm doing this. But I'm only doing it with the thought of, wow, I can just sit in traffic and not even think. Like, you know, that, that luxury right there. It's the only reason I'm doing it. Because that is, that is wonderful. You can sit in traffic, not think about any uh, overheating. Because it will... It doesn't get hot, hot, but it'll like slowly creep up to 210. And I just don't want to see anything past there. I don't want to see what it'll do past 210. So, so yeah. When I did it in the house, it was a whole lot more precise. Mm -hmm. Let me just say that now. You should use a torch. Yeah. All right, y'all, I got this thing wired up. Time to see if this is gonna work. I still didn't cut the excess wire off, so it's like literally a whole reel of wire sitting right there. But I wanna see if it's actually gonna work first before we start getting comfy and, and you know, cutting the excess away and all that. So, give the camera to Kevin Dean. That's me, I'm Kevin Dean. I don't see it. Dad, they know you better than me, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that other kid? <laughs> so, my calculations are correct. When I turn this key, the fan will start up. All right. Nervous? Yes. As, as always. always. As always. About to be rewarded? Yes. As always. Ready? Ready. start it up I really hope in a perfect world that this thing stops like the the heat stays at like 190 and that's it like 190 and 
190 in traffic and I'm like like that's that's a dream right there because it's shrouded like it's really heavily shrouded now and it moves a lot of air it's like it's on the highway because before you used to hold your hand behind the air and it was enough air but let's face it that air is going to be a whole lot more cool now so I think we go ahead and uh, spin her over and uh, see if it's going to overheat I'll close the hood and everything and actually see if it's going to overheat right here in the driveway. We'll do a full on test. Gotta remove some tools before you close the hood? Yeah. My man. Mm -hmm. Yep, I just wanted to you know, get the point across to the people. Especially the tools that your dad owns. There you go. You own one tool. On That's it. <laughs> That's all. You can leave the rest. You can really leave the rest. It will be okay. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and start this thing up. And see how this electric fan is gonna treat this motor. Ready, Kevin Dean? Y'all hear my mufflers. They sounding like poo poo right now. And I'm pretty sure it's my one muffler. It's on this side, the driver's side. Actually, as a matter of fact, when you close the door on the truck, you can hear something go -ling 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 -ling, like jingle bells. The jingle bells have a muffler. And it ain't even Christmas. Yeah, it ain't even Christmas yet. That's something I definitely want to change. So, like I said, get your merch. The I have the C10 t shirt. Link in the description. It does seem like it's taking longer. Yeah. It does seem like it's taking longer to warm up. But that's cool with me. Uh -huh. That is cool with me. But like I said, y'all, this is a uh, it's an 18 amp fan. It's a 20 amp fuse, so they should be matched perfectly. So I doubt they're gonna have any disagreements at all. We're at 160 now. Mufflers can sound so terrible. But they were cheap, right? They were very cheap. I guess I got what I asked for. So it's gonna go up and down a couple times, but there will be a time where it just does not uh, come back down. Like, you know, it would have cycled through all of like the available coolant that's like not hot already. No, okay. fluctuate at all right now. It's whatever it is, it's staying steady. Whatever it is. What do you mean? The idle? The, the cause temperature. I, no, because it went up to 200. It dropped back down. Oh, it did? Yeah. I slept for that. I would just say it's going to do that until all of the coolant reaches a particular temperature. Yeah, and then but it's it just all going to be hot after that. That's before this radiator. Before this fan. Yeah. It didn't go, it didn't get as hot then. It didn't get as hot at it all. It didn't, because I was waiting for it to go to that 200 you talking about. Because usually, usually it goes to 200 before it pipes itself back down. But it didn't even go that high before it piped itself back down that time. So this fan must be what this radiator needed. Yeah, I think so. And actually sitting here is probably one of the better tests. Yeah. Sitting here in stationary and letting it get hot. Yeah. It's a true test of the fan and, re and radiator, radiator relationship. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't sat that cool that long. Usually when it drops down, yeah. it comes right back up. Right back like up. It, it's really fast. It, it kind of fluctuates a lot, actually. So it, it might be at the place and the time where it's going to hold, whatever that number is. Uh -huh. It might be there. Because it's a 180 degree thermostat. So, so ideally you want to see it hold 180 degrees. Yeah, but I don't know if that's how this is going to work with this radiator, this big old radiator. Modifications, yeah. Maybe with a stock radiator then it will hold itself at 180 on the highway. Okay. Maybe, this is my theory. When it gets all the way hot like this, yeah. I think it's just going to keep fluctuating now for forever. With the amount of airflow that it gets, I think it's gonna just keep on fluctuating. Like from 
usually it'll fluctuate and then it'll just get up and get hot and stay there while you're sitting in one spot. Uh -huh. It might fluctuate one last time while you're sitting there and then go back up and then keep getting hot. But I think now that this fan is in here, it's gonna just constantly kind of stay in that neighborhood. And that's what it's gonna be. The real test is I think work. <laughs> Driving it to work. to work. Yeah. In traffic. But I would have thought that it would overheat by now. Okay. So I said we give it like maybe 10 more minutes of running in one place. I think 10 minutes is a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good test. And then I'm sold. I'm sold on this. I think you're out of the woods though. I think so because it hasn't fluctuated. It, it stayed right there. Yeah. And park it's gonna add a little bit higher. So and what's the outside temperature? Uh, it's got to be 80 degrees right now. It's got to be 75 at which, the very least. Which is all good stuff. Yeah. That's the case. Look at you. 81? Yeah. How'd I know? And that's pretty doggone good. I'm talking about the overheating situation. Yeah. Sitting still. Old truck. Yeah. New rebuild. High performance. 80 degrees. Yeah. That's pretty good. So if it'll do this here, 10 more degrees hotter. We will get up in the 94s and 95s and yeah. stuff. I think it's ready for that too. Yeah, I think it is. And it hasn't gone up back up to 200 yet. It ain't moved, it look like. It looks like it's just been holding, which is what you wanted. Yeah. 190, I, I said I need it to sit in 190 and I'd be happy, right? I got a feeling when you're running, it's gonna be even cooler. Yeah. Especially in the evening. Like right now, if you yeah. go and make that trip, it may drop down five degrees yeah. you got motion and your favorite. Uh -huh. All right, y'all. So to conclude this video, <laughs> I didn't get any of that on camera. The um the fan actually works, but I need to wire it up with a relay because I uh, I blew the fuse that was in it. I should have known that, that wasn't going to be enough. But uh, yeah, it's uh this fan is more powerful than advertised, so it seems. So I'm definitely gonna have to uh, put a relay in it because when I went to shut it off, when I got to where I was going, it um, the engine didn't shut off immediately, but the tachometer dropped completely. Tachometer dropped lower than like the final resting point of it, which is weird. You know what, I might as well go ahead and show you. I'm not gonna crank it up again and, and do it all over again, but I might as well show you, at least for point of reference. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> I shut it off, and the needle went right about there. <laughs> so, I need a relay. The needle went there, the engine didn't shut off either. The engine stayed running with the key completely off and out. It stayed running for two seconds, and then it shut off. So, it's uh, it's obviously feeding back somehow, so that's, that's why I need to uh, put a relay on it. And then, if I try to crank it back up, then... Uh, the fuse will blow and I'll see a little pop under underneath here. I'll see a little pop of, uh, of electrical things happening. So yeah, I definitely need a relay. And that's just gonna have to be in tomorrow's video. I have a relay in the house. Uh, last time I tried to use a relay, I had a bad experience. Relays seem to be kind of a headache, but they're well worth it in the end, I guess. So yeah, kids, uh, use relays. Use them things. Don't do anything I do in this video. Let me go ahead and say that now. On record, do not do anything I do in this video. These videos are trial and error. <laughs> Everything I do is trial and error. So I just don't want anybody getting the wrong idea thinking this is like a how to how to live your life kind of video. No, it's not. It's just uh, these are the experiences I'm running into. This is what I've been doing, all the hood rat stuff I've been doing to this truck. And yeah, I'm, I'm paying the cost because uh, yeah, you can't you can't cheap out. You can't do anything quick in a situation like this so yeah Mike is gonna be helping me out my homie Mike is gonna be uh, helping me out but I'm gonna be uh, on the phone with him trying to figure out how I'm gonna put this relay situation together but we, at least we know the fan works and it doesn't overheat for anything like like at all like it like after it fluctuates for a while it'll come right down to 190 and just sit there all the time that's what I need that's dope 
But I hope I didn't really mess up anything else with the whole wiring situation. The fact that the engine stayed running when I turned the key off has me a little worried, but the fact that the main attraction, the fan works, and it doesn't overheat, it's mounted, it's flush. <sighs> this video's done, y'all. It's done. I, I think I said all I could possibly say. Tomorrow we're wiring up a relay for the truck. But at least we know that this fan was a good investment. It works. And I guess I, uh, I can do a little review on it one of these days. But all right, y'all, this video is pretty much done, man. I, uh, I got nothing else to tell y'all. Uh, yeah, I screwed that up. I, I was trying to cheap out and be uh, quick and uh, bada bing, bada boom about it. But you can't cheap out on stuff like this. You really got to make sure that your wiring is straight. And I knew I would probably need a relay, but I was just being cheap and stupid. So, yeah. That's what tomorrow's video is going to be filled with. I have a, uh, a relay at the house in the garage. So we really just have to uh, put it together and see if it's going to work for us. Because last time I tried it, it didn't. So, yeah, we'll see in tomorrow's video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one. And have a good one.